Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Okay, it's Monday, the day after Cinco de Mayo day, and you know, it's funny. It's like we didn't hear that much about Cinco de Mayo this year. Uh, and I almost forgot that it happened except for, oh actually there weren't even that many stops to check out cars. But don't worry, the president is trying to help the economy by coming down on banks because we've got to get those restrictions going because of course it will help all of us, right? Hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim all the comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> I, I have it. Today, I have raccoon and panda Obama. Proof, proof positive that what happened in Vegas doesn't stay in Vegas as Monty's family keeps growing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they said, yeah. yeah okay. Republicans are, are leading the forefront in raising taxes on everybody over the internet, which they said, uh, well, we're not going to hit the little companies, this is going to hit the big companies. And then they found out the House, they, somebody pointed out in the House, well, that 70% of the people that sell stuff on the internet are the companies, are the little companies. So your tax will hit them directly, plus the fact you have to do 50, you'll have to do um, 50 audits of your business a year for the states, and then they think that uh, that uh, devil's in detail. They may have to do, uh, I think, what's 9,117 audits all together a year on a small business to see they're paying their taxes because every county in the country then can require an audit to see that they're getting their fair share. And they said, well, the law's not supposed to work that way. Well, the Senate version says that uh, all those people that basically have a vested interest can at request an audit. Mm -hmm. They didn't say they have to, they said they can. And since the Democrats control X amount of states, they'll be requested in every county. And me and more Muslim face uncertain future after tax. Yeah, because um, that, that basically what you want to do is, well actually no, because remember Ma, uh, the, uh, the White House and the Justice Department don't even mention the fact they're Muslims. Mm. They're homegrown extremists. Mm. So. And Venezuelan lawmakers hurt during punch-up in Parliament. Well, they said what happened is the new leader of Venezuela is rapidly on his way out. I mean, this guy had a fixed election. He only won by 1%. Mm -hmm. if it means that he got badly beaten. <laughs> and the people, that, the people that don't support him basically don't support him. And they're basically trying to figure out how to, Okay, in South America, they don't turn you out with elections. You can figure this guy smart enough to know that they don't turn you out. And oh, they don't? Yeah. And executives with broadcaster CBS Corp said the relationship with Netflix is strong. We know it's not, though. We know that CBS, Leslie Moonves, is saying that, that, what, that what's going on out there you know, with, uh, with the basically uh, Barry Diller's company and Netflix and others will probably lead to the third major network moving to the cable system. We have Fox is probably going. The CW is going, and, and uh, more than likely CBS, which will lead NBC as the only, a NBC and ABC is the only, and since NBC and NBC is owned by Comcast, which is heavily cable, and the Disney is heavily cable, you can bet that they're going to go f off the air too and go over the cable system. Mm -hmm. And Los Angeles launches probe of alleged patient dumping my Nevada. Well, that always happens. Okay, uh, what was it? We took Monty to a dog show a few years ago, and we're watching the dumping of people out front of the dog of the arena where the dog show was being held. States, basically, what happens? They have they got people in the states that basically shouldn't be there. They're not legal, so they just put them on a bus and send them as close to the border as they can get them. And we were as close to Tijuana as you could get for the bus you service. Know, I remember years ago watching that on 60 Minutes, they used to call it the Greyhound Treatment. And people yeah. said, no, they don't do that. Uh -huh. We were there when it was being done. We'd come out and they were being they were unloading off the Greyhound and then uh, getting, on the, getting on the version of Greyhound to go across the border. See, it's really neat what you can see by our borders, folks. And Bangladesh toll 547, smell proof number will rise. I know, and basically here's the neat thing about Bangladesh is that in order to stop the way they do business in Bangladesh, American companies are going to stop doing business with the people in Bangladesh to help improve the programs that are being done in Bangladesh. Well, you have to understand that every single company that is going to pull their business out of Bangladesh to help the people in Bangladesh is 
supporters of the Obama administration. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. That's what Democrats do. Well, we're going to help the economy by taxing small businesses out of existence. Well, we're going to help the people in Bangladesh by no longer doing business with the country. And that will force the people that are running the country to change the way they do business. No, it's a floodplain, for Christ's sake. And what, you know, you build it on something that Pakistan and India used to grow crops in, mm. and you're going to lose everything. You can't build buildings that are earthquake-proof. You can't build buildings that are this proof, that proof, because there is no ground under there. It's all dirt for farming. And Google Schmidt thinks YouTube has crushed traditional TV. Yeah, this morning they made this announcement that YouTube, you know, YouTube didn't make the announcement. They made the <laughs> announcement this morning that the financial people said that within five years, YouTube will be more powerful uh, and make more revenue than all this network, all the TV stations combined, and that they're going to start charging for what the, for their channels. The stock market really tanked. Their, their part of the market tanked, and then the head of Schmidt came out just a few minutes ago and said, "We made, we never made this statement. I was taken out of context when I said that." So um, no, they weren't. They were talking to people's total context. So. And New York judged to okay Empire State Building settlement. Well, yeah, because they're trying to sell the building. Mm -hmm. They've been trying for years to sell the building and a fifty-five million dollars suit against it was keeping it from being sold, which what happened was the value of the building decreased while the suit was going on. So now the settlement is less than what they would have gotten if they had waited until after the building was sold and filed the suit. And Manhattan judge on Thursday backed a $55 million settlement in a court battle over the Empire State Building, effectively clearing the way for a plan to let the public buy shares in the famous New York City landmark. I know. She liked it. Well, because that's the same difference. The same thing with an explanation to it. Hmm. And Judge Halt's a New York City taxi. <laughs> I know where they're going. You want yeah. to say anymore? <laughs> yeah. Judge Halt's New York City taxi e helling a day after launch. What in the world is that? Okay, they were basically what happened was you could use your uh, your cell phone to have a taxi show up. The problem is, is that people. Uh, there were lots of people were using the service and they were all getting pissed because, well, my, my e-hail was before your e-hail. Well, the driver doesn't know that. Oh, The driver that just told on a system to go to such and such and then what happens is multiple people call from the same spot and some of them got pissed at, well, I called before you did. So well, how do you know phone. you get, yeah. Yeah. Um, and see, are you going to buy part of the New York City landmark, the Empire State Building? I don't think so because the Empire State Building, uh, the reason why it was being sold was because it has to have like uh, a, lot of work a done. billion dollars worth of renovations on it, which means it's as a historical landmark, it's good, but as a business, thriving business, it's a disaster. It's one of those things that you, unfortunately, you either spend a billion or tear it down because it, will co it won't cost a billion to put something else up in a spot. And Judge gives major break in GM theft case. Uh, yeah, because what happens is they, the GM because the GM didn't. Obama's people filed litigation, and because Obama was involved in it, basically the courts ruled against the GM. So. And Italy raised problems seen with black government government minister. That ain't gonna happen. That's Italy, folks. Oh. They do not have black. I was like, in that's Italy. They're Italian you know, okay. or nothing. Um, uh, like they said, uh, they had a black. Uh, 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 black individuals from black districts were going into the House of Commons who, in England, they tend to ignore them like they didn't even exist. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah, and in Italy it's the same thing. Every country in Europe, they do not like... Okay, what happens is the minorities get together and elect one of theirs, and then they find out that they lose that representative. They wasted, a, they wasted, wasted their a spot. vote because they pay no attention to what that representative has to say then. Boy. Yeah. And then we thought. <laughs> no, okay, they're, okay, okay well, the racist, racism and the rest of the world has always been worse than the United States. And they, the United States doesn't understand it. We're the shining example. And uh, they, they, well, we look to Europe how they do it. Well, if we look to Europe how they do it. If Europe had its way, the people would be basically out in the, out in the plantations, folks. Hmm. And many in Muslim world want Sharia as the law of the land. So I know. That's, uh, okay, the Obama administration was aghast a to find out that they've been telling people and, and the press, no Sharia law isn't going to be, well, and then all of a sudden their people, 
their people in the news media take it and basically 95% of the Muslims in our country want Sharia law. They want mm -hmm. to be able to enforce their own law on the people. Oh, Anna Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Oh, I actually heard this one this morning. I like this one. That this is stole from somebody, F my doctor. It has to do with the fact that... Uh, she works uh, with us. That Yeah, well, she works with a relative. Well, I hope to be a relative. She said uh, that, oh, but while you say you learned a lesson, did you actually learn the lesson? 